Well, hello again, everyone. My name is Kronos006, and I am back with another new Let's Play experience. This time, we're going to look at a game that's a little bit different than what we've been doing lately. This is Kongao's Magnum Opus To the Moon, a RPG adventure game more created in 2011, or released in 2011 by Khan Gao, as I mentioned, of Freebird Games. Uh, winner of uh, Indie RPG Game of the Year in 2011, designed using RPG Maker XP. So, I have not played this game before. I am aware it's rather popular, and there is a reason it's popular, because it's damn good. It's an amazing story, the writing, and just... I don't even know where to start with this one. I've been waiting to do this one for so long, and here's my history with this game. I've seen the story. I've seen it played through. I kind of know what's going to happen. I'm still not looking forward to it. <laughs> if you guys have heard anything about this game, it is because it is an extremely emotional game. Now, this is kind of a romantic sort of game. Here's the interesting thing. For anyone who knows me, you know that I usually care nothing for romance stories, I hate romance movies, normally this genre just drives me crazy because they're so cliche and they're so stupid and they're usually so wrong and they're so awful, to be perfectly honest. I hate them. I hate romance stories. This is the first romance story that legitimately got me. Like. I, I bawled like a baby, and I wasn't even actually playing it. <laughs> so, just to warn you guys, this is going to be a very heavy, very sad at times, but extremely fulfilling and extremely happy at other times. So, if you're ready to take this emotional journey with me, let's do it. Let's play To The Moon. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting to play this one. I honestly wanted to wait to play it because <laughs> I wanted to forget the story just so I could experience it again. It's that awesome. I've watched the game twice. I fell in love with it the first time and I watched it again. And I want to remind you guys that this game was made using RPG Maker XP. Like this is an extremely rugged rudimentary game that just it's amazing. Just sit back and enjoy. What was that? Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Princess. You ran over it anyways. Oh. You ran over it and hit a tree. Look, don't worry, it's, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is gonna kill us. Hmm, uh, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. He likes puppies, right? He's more of a cat person. Why does the world have to be so complicated? Fine, whatever furball he fancies. Crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left-click an object to interact with it. Uh... Aw, the poor squirrel. Tisk tisk. Oh, come on! I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? That's asking too much. Received equipment. Got the sucker. Let's roll. Oops, that was Dr. Watts. <laughs> Got the sucker. Let's roll. A smoking hot car. <laughs> Literally. Um, I hope you guys will bear with me. This game has no voice work, so you're going to be dealing with my voice reading a lot of different dialogue. So, 
Sorry about that. Nothing I can do. Wiles household ahead. Putting up a sign when they live in the middle of nowhere is like asking to be robbed. Okay, I guess I can follow these little arrows. The sign to the house points to the other way. Oh, how kind of it to exist. But why give me that direction to go then? Screw you. Alright. Hey, wait. Don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. <laughs> true, true. How thoughtful of you. Ooh, pretty little birdie. See, even though these graphics are so simple, like, this, this game... I'm sure a lot of you watching have probably already seen it, or at least heard of it. This game is amazing. I've been wanting to play this one for a long, long, long time. Cheep, cheep. A very interesting interface. It's extremely simple, but it's quite familiar to adventure gamers. Dot, dot, dot. Who put a boulder here? Maybe it's their security system. Cucumbers, we don't have time for this fluff. Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe we could find a tree branch to jack it with? Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Oh, <laughs> can I do that? You do know that you won't be paid if we don't go through with it, right? Hmm. I do need to find an Ikea shopping spree soon. Fund, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's find a branch. A branch will do. Ah, right there. Receive tree branch. Ha ha! Whoop. Oh, wow. This is the inventory screen. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, this was an autosave from earlier, as you can see, much earlier. Uh, oh, nope, nope, never mind, it replaced it. <laughs> I played it a while back, and I, I just wanted to see if it would work. And then again, of course, I tested it before I played it for you lovely people. Alright, so we have Dr. Eva Rosaline, Senior Memory Traversal Agent, Sigmund Corporation. And Dr. Neil Watts, Technician Specialist, Sigmund Corporation. Now, this game has a great sense of humor. And uh, it's very funny, along with being extremely touching and very cool story. With a box this heavy, what's inside's gotta be important. A good old stick. No, no, don't exit the game. Uh, right click? Yep, okay. Alright, this better work. What the fuck? What was that? I... I don't even... Dot, dot, dot. It's some kind of an air ball. Uh, right. We need to get going for now. Right. Okay, that's kind of weird. Not much of a security system. Whoa! There goes some squirrels. Nope, didn't mean to do that. I kind of wish I could just hold the mouse down and just move. Do the arrow keys work? Ah, the arrow keys do work. Cool. You can use... Nope, WASD doesn't work, but the arrow keys do. Interesting. Yeah, I don't have it... Uh, because I got my microphone in front of me, it's probably not very conducive for me to use the arrow keys. Um, I'm going to have to use the mouse, so hopefully you won't hear it clicking too much. Knock, knock. Another thing that will be very obvious is that uh, this game has incredible music, like... Some of the best music I've heard in a video game. And this was an independent game. This was an indie project. Made by, like, a grand total of, like, five or less people. So. Ma, they're here! Sorry, I'm not very good at doing children's voices. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? 
I could do better. Night shifts. Love them or hate them? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blathering, they won't. And your eyelids will... What is he talking about? Don't forget the equipment, moron. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> I love it. He looks like a total nerd. Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought they were lighthouses. Dr. Watson, Dr. Rosaline, I presume? Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Are you the patient's do- God, I'm gonna mess myself up with all these voices. Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. Whoa, there go the kids. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Come with me. Well, since you asked so nicely. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Received equipment. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. Oh, now I'm controlling her. Beautiful house. Go upstairs? Why, yes. Okay, they're gone. Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get to bark two notes anyway. Sound like a valley girl, not a kid. Jesus, Kronos. God, I love that song. So beautiful. And I'm trying not to get choked up already. <laughs> Uh, I have to apologize in advance, guys. I'm an absolute sucker for this game. I can almost guarantee that I will be in tears probably several times while playing this game. I first played it when there was a lot going on in my life, uh, especially that of my dad uh, struggling with cancer. So I have a lot of emotions invested in this game. So <laughs> for better or for worse, I hope you enjoy the ride. Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Yeah, yeah, come on. I'm a scientist. No, seriously, I am. Oh, hmm. I have control. Ready to set up? Gee, you know, I think I'd like to carry this excruciatingly heavy object around some more. Thanks for asking, though. <laughs> Asshole. He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. 
I think that's a guy. Huh. I guess that's my patient right there. Yeah, let's take a look around, shall we? A selection of readings from medical journals. Okay. Let's go ahead and set things up. Yes, it'll just be a moment. I am. There are so many voices in this game. I'm just. I'm gonna butcher them. I'm gonna fuck them up. So sorry, guys. I'll do my best. Ooh. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries. We're the experts. Ah, crap. Oh, there we go. Standard procedures. Just keeping you on your toes. <laughs> How's he doing? Not so well. If I were to say, he's got just a day or two left. That's plenty of time. So, you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try, at least. But we always succeed, because we're awesome. So, what's the wish? The moon. What? The moon? The moon. He wants to go to the moon. Geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? <laughs> Am I right? So, can you do it? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy, for Pete's sake. Shush! Just do your thing. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you may find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind, since he signed for you two. Hmm, so be it. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Yeah, let's go with Watts. I'll do it. I once played Sherlock Holmes in a high school musical. I remember you playing Watson. Meh, same thing. Just configure this. I got it started anyway. My children can show you around. They're probably downstairs at the piano. 